Recently, Minecraft released a very controversial feature in the Java edition where players can now report each other for in-game chat and potentially be banned from online play entirely. This is one of the many new safety features that Microsoft has been pushing into the game in order to make Minecraft more family friendly. I've received tons of messages in the past week asking me about how this is going to affect places like 2B2T, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, a place notorious for having some of the worst in-game chat anywhere in Minecraft. Without beating around the bush, it's going to affect not only Anarchy servers, but all Minecraft servers. Even though these features were first revealed over a week ago, I wanted to do as much research as possible before giving my opinion on it. And spoiler alert, I'm not a fan. There are too many scenarios where the context of a conversation matters, and this new system could be used in unintended ways by bad actors. It certainly doesn't help that certain details about this feature have been left intentionally vague by the developers. So we're going to take an in-depth look at Minecraft's latest feature and examine how these new rules work from a technical perspective. I'll give my personal opinion on the whole ordeal, and we'll discuss how these bans could have a major effect on 2B2T and other Anarchy servers. A big shout out to everyone that hits that subscribe button. I enjoy covering these topics and I greatly appreciate the support. Let's make something clear though. The actual Minecraft devs and Mojang employees are not the ones pushing for these changes. This is clearly 100% a Microsoft decision. I know some of you were disappointed by the Wild Update's missing features, but the devs are just doing their jobs. It's okay to enjoy something while also being critical of it. With that being said, let's begin. Upon logging into the most recent Java version of Minecraft, it is now possible to report players by highlighting specific messages that have been typed in public chat. You highlight the messages, choose the category that it falls under, and then you are given a chat box to explain why you're filing a report. This implies that the system will have human moderation of some kind. Once the report is sent off, it will likely be read by a Microsoft-employed moderator, and action will be taken. On paper, the system seems reasonable and aims to have good intentions, but the Bedrock Edition has actually had this system for about two years, and back when it was introduced, it also received a lot of backlash. Players could be banned from joining servers, and on some platforms could even lose access to their single-player worlds. Pretty intense punishments. Many Java players thought they would never have to deal with something like this, but some in the community were a bit wiser. When all Java players were forced to migrate to Microsoft accounts not too long ago, they had to agree to Microsoft's Terms of Service, which is where these new chat rules come from. In-game capes were given as a reward to migrated accounts, so many didn't bother to actually read the fine print of what they were signing up for. Trust me, this is a positive move, and nothing you like about Minecraft is going to change. Any questions? So how do I feel about these chat changes? Well, I have some very strong opinions on this. Even though I love Minecraft and I've played it for over 12 years, I see potential issues here. If we look at the list of things that you can report someone for in public chat, right away there are some categories on there that really shouldn't be there. Does profanity really belong on this list? If Minecraft is for all ages, surely adults can swear on more mature servers, right? Discussion of drugs and alcohol is very context sensitive. It's not always a bad thing and sometimes can be educational. The defamation, impersonation, or false information category simply lacks clarification. If I join a Minecraft server claiming to be a famous person, will anyone actually believe me? Will I get banned? Once again, context matters. The other categories I can understand. Those are really bad things that are straight up illegal in some cases. You wouldn't want to see that on your typical Minecraft server. But this system could easily be abused by bad actors. On any given Minecraft server, you will have players that don't like each other. If someone is standing on a cliff and I tell them in chat to jump off a cliff, could someone report me for encouraging self-harm? Let's say a griefer is blowing up a base, which on Anarchy servers is something you're allowed to do freely. 
if the base builders report the griefer for bullying and harassment, will it result in a ban if the griefer happen to type something innocuous in chat? There's a lot of potential situations where rule enforcement could backfire. Now, previously, a Mojang community manager stated that for the Bedrock Edition, teams of highly trained moderators are the ones that read reports, and that context in every situation was analyzed. That seems reassuring at first, but literally in the same comment thread, they admit that sometimes false positives would be accepted to prevent false negatives, saying, quote, we have to consider all threats to be serious and credible ones simply because the way the internet works these days. This really does not give me the confidence that Microsoft can use this system the way it was intended. Even if somehow the system is perfect and only actual rule breakers get banned, it's still another example of Microsoft taking away control from the Java community. It's the same thing they did with snooper settings. Whenever you play Minecraft on Java, analytical data gets collected about your game session, your machine, and a few other details. This information gets sent to Mojang, and it's relatively harmless, but it used to be an option that you could turn on or off. You had control. Snooper settings actually had to be removed for a while because the European Union enforced data protection regulations that prevented Minecraft from collecting this sort of information. But in more recent versions, snooper settings were quietly added back. But now we don't even have the option to turn them off. They are on at all times unless you resort to using third-party software. It's one of those situations where people usually don't mind providing this data, but if you take the choice away, it rubs people the wrong way. But it doesn't matter because if you're like me and you play the Java edition, you've already agreed to these rules by migrating your account. So here comes the big question. How will these new chat changes affect anarchy servers such as 2B2T, where public chat is likely to break some of these rules? Well, it's actually more complicated than you might think. A few months ago, Mojang introduced the multiplayer secure chat signing feature. Chat messages sent between players are now cryptographically signed, meaning it's not possible to fake a chat message from a specific username and have it be accepted in reports. After speaking to some technical Minecraft players who have a better understanding of the system, it seems that individual servers are able to disable this chat signing, which means any public chat from Anarchy servers could not be reported to Mojang using the in-game social menu. At least that seems to be the case right now, but remember, Mojang has kept details about these features intentionally vague and are likely to change things later on. So eventually, Anarchy servers could potentially have their chats be reportable. If this becomes the case, it would be a massive change. Users will be reporting each other constantly, even over the most trivial conversations. I've already seen HackCline developers talk about adding an auto-report feature that would just spam the report system with false offenses for every person online. Just imagine the poor moderator working for Microsoft that would have to read 8 hours of 2B2T chat unfiltered. I would not wish that on anyone. I would not be surprised if chatting in these places was just disabled entirely out of an abundance of caution. By doing this, Anarchy servers would lose a lot of freedom that caused users to seek them out in the first place. Even with chat disabled, could in-game actions such as writing on signs be punishable as well? Since Mojang hasn't provided clarification on these features, we are forced to speculate. Now, some have said that Anarchy servers could simply stay in older versions of Minecraft so they wouldn't have to abide by these new rules. That is a possibility, but the thing is, there's no guarantee that will always work. Many Anarchy servers eventually have to update to maintain healthy player populations, so the odds of them having to adopt this system are quite high. It's actually quite sad. Before Microsoft bought them, Mojang trusted communities with policing their own servers, and moderation was something that the individual server owners could control. They created their own rules, and if someone was breaking the rules, they were banned. It's a system that has worked for many years and was built off trust between the community and the developers. But now a multi-billion dollar corporation no longer trusts the community to police their own servers, and control has been taken away. 
While the system has very good intentions behind it, I just don't have the confidence in Microsoft to use the system the way it's intended. And I don't like that even more control of the play experience is being taken away from the Java community. So hopefully now you are updated on this latest controversy. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and follow my socials. Take it easy, FitFam, and no swearing, I guess.